According to the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs, eight out of every 100 people will have PTSD during their lifetime. Many are veterans and first responders, a reality they battle with every day. But there's help all over the country, including right here in Tyler. Over at the Lone Star Church, vets and first responders watch each other's back by attending a peer group together. Tristan Hardy attended one of their weekly meetings today. As somebody that's certified in EMDR. Dealing with PTSD is like not easy. It's, it's not an easy thing at all. Cool. No one understood what I was going through. PTSD is uh, it's not just one thing. It's a whole bunch of things piled up together. Let's learn a few movements. Post-traumatic stress disorder can happen to anyone. Research shows we all experience at least one trauma in our lives. Now imagine experiencing that over and over again as EMT. I had a real bad problem listening to sirens. Or while you're serving your country. There's so many guys out there that uh, I know feel guilty for just being alive. For one hour each week, many veterans and first responders come to this place, a safe space. Our mission is to be a 911 for the 911. I know I'm not on a warrant, but... The Warrior Peer Group has been around for nearly two years in Tyler, where Brenda McBride counsels them. They're used to giving the aid. They're used to giving the care. Visibly uncomfortable, with one thing in common, the desire to win the battle with PTSD. If you don't deal with it now, it's going to deal with you. It's a fight Leah Courtney and Marvin Hollingsworth are facing together. There's other people out there like me and to know that they understand what I'm going through, it was, it's wonderful. Dealing with the trauma to them is a challenge, but they're taking back their lives. This place is something that every person who is bottled up, not knowing what to say or do, needs to look into. Tristan Hardy, CBS 19.